Look what Dad just spotted across the way. Can you go get it? Yeah, you can go get it. That's a good buck. Here, show it. Let's see what it looks like on the ground. Go ahead and pick that thing up. I don't know whose that is. I'll have to see. Heidi's first shed. All right, so I'm trying to be quiet here because we're at our just got to our property today. Yesterday we went up to Oskaloosa. Dad uh, bought a tractor so we can take care of this mess this spring. And then we were messing around with the idea of a building. I hope everybody can hear me with the mic. But we got here today and our plan was to put out, we're gonna do some frost seeding today, some food, food plots and then put more minerals out. We ended up finding a shed right out of the gate. But when we got here, the neighbor's dogs was barking and running around in here, so we just kind of we had to walk through here anyway. And there's a, a doe, it looked like. It's got a broken leg, and there's obviously the road's right there, so we feel like she got hit by a car. But she's not doing too good, so we had to call the DNR, and they're going to be here in an hour, an hour and a half to take care of the deer, but it's just too bad because it sucks because, you know, one deer's just suffering, but hopefully you can get it taken care of and get the meat donated. So yeah, pretty weird chain of events that's going on today, but yeah, so we're just kind of pinned down here for the time being. We might be able to sneak around her. We don't, she's bedded down right now, so we don't want to bump her any more than we have to. So we'll have to see what the plan of attack is. We might be able to just sneak around and do some things and then come back. I'll mark the deer with on X. Um, that way we know kind of where she's at. But we can do pretty crappy. Well, and is that a match set? Kind of looks like a match set to me. <laughs> I think he's about like that. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. It takes skill to find those ones too. Man, you found a lot of them today. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da Yeah, it's pretty bad. So we just got done doing part of this field here in a clover chicory mix, and then we ended up doing some seeding over on a different field, and I've got enough to finish off that field. Um, this top and where the sedan grass used to be is going to be where we're going to be putting soybeans in this year. And I'll detail all that on a video that we're going to be having up in the future is kind of how we're we're laying this entire property out. So we've got good bedding all around in this area, got a good green source of food, and then we're going to have soybeans as far as the eye can see. So yeah, it should turn out all right. In a couple weeks here when we go in and we uh, put pre-emergence on the switchgrass fields, we're going to go through uh, these two little uh, clover fields that we're planting here today and spraying, it up, spraying them again because even though we're, we're putting the seed out now the the ground temperature is just not warm enough for the seed to really emerge so uh, yeah all this grass is going to be killed off hopefully and, and hopefully the clover and chicory is allowed to get established. These, these two fields didn't do too well this fall so I don't know if it was a bad seed lot that they had from the company or what but 
hopefully this one turns out and hopefully we can see some big old buck deers up in this area all right everybody so that's going to be a wrap for this video i want to apologize i had to cut a lot of the footage just because i got a new camera so i've been testing it out um and i'm really excited about it but i didn't have a microphone on it so the, the the audio quality was just terrible so all you headphone users i apologize because the audio was probably pretty bad uh, but i still wanted to upload the video and try to salvage as much as i could from it just because um, it's been a while since we posted a video and i wanted to show everybody what we were kind of up to um, the winter's been really rough here in iowa so this last weekend was really the, the first weekend that we've really gotten to go out to do anything other than frost seed at the beginning of march um, so Pretty much to sum it up, we just kind of put out some minerals. Um, now that all the snow is melted off and there's more abundance of food. Uh, that way deer are able to start refueling the, their bodies the right way. Um, and then we also did a little bit of shed hunting, but we were putting out minerals and we were frost seeding uh, food plots, uh, just two food, small food plots. So we really didn't shed hunt as much as we really wanted to. Um, so this next weekend here, we're actually going back to put some pre-emergence, some atrazine on our switchgrass fields. That way we can make sure we have a weed-free field for the switchgrass to grow and develop and uh, hopefully have a really good stand there. As well as I'm going to really focus in on shed hunting. Uh, we found four sheds uh, just kind of just goofing around. Um, so hopefully we're able to find some of the bucks that we were chasing after last fall and hopefully they all survive the winter. Uh, we don't have much food on the property right now so um, our thought is, is that the deer really weren't on our property. So those four sheds were a really good sign and hopefully we can find more uh, this coming weekend. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys liked the video, please make sure you hit the, the thumbs up button and to subscribe. Uh, to see future content we really appreciate all the support you guys have given us it's motivated us to try to make better videos and uh, we're hoping to bring a lot of really good series and videos uh, this year uh, to everybody got a couple that are i'm in the process of working on now um, in the lines of you know habitat improvement on our property but stay tuned for all that and uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you all in the next one